In this topic, you will learn how to automatically allocate stock. Now you can automatically allocate order by order or allocate by product managed in stock which firm orders are entered. Now each order is allocated according to its own allocation setting, either global, which is just a quantity reservation by product and site, or detail, which includes the actual stock line, like the lot number, serial number, and status. Now you can define the selection criteria based on the order, ship to customer, and the product. You would normally use these functions when you need to allocate batches of orders. Now those orders could have been manually entered with products manufactured then allocated or orders imported into the system or orders online then filled. Let's say these orders were imported and now you need to allocate stock. To allocate I can either select automatic allocations, which is by order number, or allocations by product. I will allocate by order. To do this, I go to Sales Module, the Allocations block, and Automatic Allocations. Here, I enter the criteria, including the company, the shipment site, and the shipments until date, which I'll leave at the default. In the parameter section, you have multiple different options, including partial allocations, which authorizes orders to be partially allocated. Select the Include Customer Allocations checkbox to have the system review reservations previously entered through the Customer Reservations function. Generate Shortages creates a record if the stock is short. When running the stock shortages after receiving stock, the short orders will be filled. Select the Priority Shortages checkbox to have the system allocate products to lines with current shortages entered before processing any lines without shortages. The Reorder Production Lead Time and Preparation Lead Time checkboxes these allow you to take into consideration production and preparation lead times in terms of priority when allocating stock. We'll go ahead and leave it at the defaults. In the Start In range, we will select this by customer and by product. So that's the From Ship to Customer. And the product. In the Extra Criteria section, if the criteria above does not meet your needs, you can also enter a formula by order header or line in this section. Now we click OK to process. Here we get a log showing our allocations. After allocating, you can view the results either by order or you can run one of the inquiries in sales. Let's go ahead and run an inquiry to see the results. And this is going to be in sales, in inquiries, and the allocations subfunction and allocations. Here we enter the site. We also enter our product. And let's go with the date. and do a search. And as you can see, it shows our allocations. Now the allocation type says global, which basically it just allocates the stock, not the actual stock lines. And you can see what actually has been allocated, which shows you our quantities. And now you know how to automatically allocate stock.